I'm John Boshin, and welcome to the first installment of the Classic Industrial Film Showcase. One of my favorite industrial films, and probably documentary films of all time, is the 1956 film entitled Aluminum on the March. The film was produced by one of my favorite motion picture studios, the Jam Handy Organization, who was the lead producer of industrial films during the 1930s, 1940s, and 1950s. Aluminum on the March was sponsored by Reynolds Metals Company, who specialized in the production of aluminum. The motion picture was distributed by a company called Association Films, who handled the distribution of many industrial films during the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s. Aluminum on the March was distributed to community groups for public exhibitions, and for broadcasts on local television stations across the country. This film, in my opinion, is the ideal industrial film. A 1956 trade ad from Business Screen Magazine wrote about the film, Several cinematic techniques are used to dramatize the story of the aluminum industry in Aluminum on the March, a new 28-minute color motion picture sponsored by Reynolds Metals Company. Live location photography, stop motion animation, and special effects chronicle an industry that contributes to everyday living and national defense. Personally, I could not agree with that statement more as the film is just gorgeous in production value. The film is broken up into two different sections. The first section demonstrates to viewers how aluminum is manufactured. This is done through the use of gorgeous cinematography and a triumphant musical score. These two cinematic characteristics really dramatize this entire process. The second section demonstrates to viewers the many uses of aluminum. This is done through the use of lavish cinematography as well as a nice gentle music score as well. All of these scenes were shot using the Eastman color process, a process which was developed by Eastman Kodak Company. Unfortunately, one thing that is missing from the film are credits which identify who worked on the film. With the exception of crediting Reynolds Metals Company at the beginning, as well as the J.M. Handy organization at the end, there's really no indication of who made the film. One thing's for sure, however, Mr. Jamison Handy, who was the owner and president of the Jam Handy organization, was certainly the executive producer of the film. He had final say of how the film went out when it was completed. With the exception of Handy, I don't know who directed the film, provided the narration, or was responsible for the spectacular cinematography. However, I do have some theories on who did the music for the film and who may have had some involvement with the stop-motion animation sequences. The music score to Aluminum on the March is similar to another film that was made around the same time by the J.M. Handy organization entitled American Engineer. It was a documentary film that was made for a Chevrolet. This film does have credits at the end. Two gentlemen are credited for composing the music to this film, Samuel Benavi and James Higgins. Mr. Benavi joined J.M. Handy in the 1930s as a musical composer. Yeah, I don't have information on James Higgins. Seeing how the musical score to Aluminum on the March is similar to American Engineer, and two people are credited, it's hard to tell who might have composed it. It's very well possible that one of the gentlemen worked on it, or they both collaborated together to make the score for Aluminum on the March. Now, like the musical score, I unfortunately don't know who did the stop-motion animation sequences. However, I do have a theory on who might have. A gentleman by the name of Francis Lyle Goldman came to work for Jam Handy in 1935. Before he was at Jam Handy, he was working for a company called Audio Productions. Now, Audio Productions made some terrific films during the early 1930s. One of their most notable productions is a wonderful film that was done for Ford Motor Company entitled The Rhapsody in Steel. This film was supervised by Mr. Goldman. 
The film documents how a four motor car is made on the assembly line process. The last five minutes of the film is an elaborate stop motion segment. A few years later after making The Rhapsody in Steel, Mr. Goldman went to work for Jam Handy. What's interesting is you can see a dramatic improvement in the production value of many Jam Handy productions when he left audio and went to work for Handy. One thing that Goldman certainly brought over to Jam Handy were his skills with stop motion animation, which was frequently used in many productions such as Precisely So, Autolite on Parade, he had some early television commercials that were produced for Lucky Strike cigarettes. Seeing how the stop motion animation sequence of Aluminum on the March is dramatically similar to all these films, it would not surprise me if Goldman worked on Aluminum on the March. So without further ado, let's watch Aluminum on the March from 1956. and aluminum for our homes. Aluminum for building, for transportation, for communication, for agriculture, and for national defense. What is it that has made aluminum, one of the youngest members in the family of metals, such an outstanding material? The answer lies in its amazing versatility and unusual combination of properties. Its smart, modern appearance in a variety of natural or colored finishes. Its great strength combined with extreme light weight, an outstanding advantage in almost every metal application. Its high electrical conductivity, with aluminum leading all other metals in a pound for pound comparison. Its immunity to all kinds of weather without rust or corrosion. Its superior light and heat reflectivity, for aluminum brilliantly outshines all other uncoated metals. Aluminum excels most other metals in its ability to conduct heat quickly and evenly. amazing things about this most remarkable metal is its tremendous abundance as a raw material. In America, the richest of these commercial grade aluminum deposits are located in the central region of Arkansas. Although traces of aluminum may be found in almost any soil, only those clays containing 50 or 60 percent aluminum ore and known as bauxite are mined for commercial production. And here, one of the foremost producers of aluminum derives much of its ore for the reduction plants. In order to ensure a constant and uninterrupted supply of this raw material, Reynolds, some years ago, pioneered the development of extensive aluminum ore deposits in Haiti and Jamaica. These deposits, along with mining operations in British Guiana, constitute the world's largest known aluminum ore reserves, representing a vital backlog of strategic material for consumer goods and defense production. 
On the island of Jamaica alone, more than 50,000 acres are owned by Reynolds for the mining of aluminum ore. As the bauxite deposits are mined out, Reynolds resoils and restores the pits to crop, grazing, or forest land for the Jamaicans' use. Mining of aluminum ore in Jamaica is primarily a huge earth-moving operation, and for the islanders, the mines have meant new jobs and a sounder economy. After leaving the mines, the aluminum ore travels on a breathtaking journey over six miles of aerial tramway to the sea. Ochos Rios Bay, the bauxite ore is loaded aboard a modern ore carrier for its trip to the mainland, where the next phase of its transformation to metal begins. Among this maze of giant digesters, settlers, and washers, all the skill and ingenuity of modern chemical engineering combine to provide the first step in unlocking aluminum from the earth. The chemical process reaches its climax in these huge tanks where alumina is precipitated out of the ore in caustic solution. Later, the water content is driven off by baking in giant rotary kilns, resulting in this pure snow-white powder known as alumina. An ever-increasing amount of this alumina is being used in chemical processing in soil conditioners, in abrasives, and many other applications. In order to reduce the alumina to solid aluminum, it is transferred to one of a number of reduction plants and converted to metallic form in giant electrolytic cells. These plants consume electrical power in tremendous quantities, enough to supply the daily needs of one million people. About one-third of the required electricity is generated at Reynolds plants, and the rest is purchased from outside sources. Over 20,000 kilowatt hours of electricity will pass through the cell to produce one ton of aluminum. modern operation, some of the molten aluminum is transferred directly to a customer's adjacent foundry, where it is poured hot into the customer's holding furnace before casting. Back at the Reynolds plant, as the molten metal is cast, aluminum begins to take recognizable shape and form. the pigs are alloyed with small amounts of other metals to give them the right combination of properties. From the alloying furnace, aluminum now marches forth in the shape of ingots, blooms, and billets, each destined for a specific fabricating sequence. Producing 6,000 pound ingots into aluminum sheet requires giant machinery, plus great technical skill and experience. Thank you. 
sheet is ready for shipment to thousands of fabricators who will reshape it into a hundred thousand useful things from washing machines to airplane wings. The fabricating service, as its name implies, is a service to manufacturers providing them with a great variety of blanked, formed and precision finished parts ready for assembly. costly but necessary facilities, often beyond the reach of the average fabricator, are made available through this service, including press equipment capable of handling the largest aluminum draws ever made, plus a workforce of skilled specialists with long experience in high-speed precision fabrication. With imagination and daring, the fabricating service tackles the most difficult production assignments, such as this patented tubed sheet, a solid aluminum sheet with self-contained passages for liquid or gas. The tubed sheet is now in common use, as in this refrigeration unit, and has unlimited possibilities in all types of heat transfer applications. Still another contribution of the fabricating service are the all-aluminum truck and body parts assembled for the leading truck and trailer companies. Because aluminum will not rust, these parts will not need painting, and neither will these aluminum gutters and downspouts. Aluminum buildings are easily constructed, requiring a minimum amount of maintenance and upkeep. Self-insulating against both heat and cold, aluminum sheet provides greater protection for every type of outdoor use, from industrial buildings, large and small, to the most modern residents. Lightweight, strength, and the versatility of aluminum make possible higher payloads in all commercial vehicles, from highway trailers to modern smart-looking delivery trucks. Aluminum adds beauty and flexibility of design to lightweight highway homes and ultra-modern buses. In national defense, as in many other fields, aluminum is everywhere. In the air, on the ground, and on the sea, versatile aluminum serves our fighting men. In today's architecture, aluminum has become synonymous with modern design not only in new buildings, but to facelift dingy old exteriors and transform them into colorful new fronts in tune with the times. The use of aluminum is equally effective inside as well as out. From table lamp to acoustical ceiling, aluminum contributes that decorative modern touch to office and home. Because aluminum reflects up to 95% of all radiant heat and effectively stops moisture, it finds extensive use in all types of insulation. These same reflective qualities add extra efficiency to aluminum heating and air conditioning ducts. 
In the field of home appliances, for decorative as well as functional uses, aluminum has no equal. Rust-proof and corrosion-resistant, it helps keep cleaning and maintenance at a minimum. Add the advantages of low cost, lightweight, workability, and multicolored beauty, and it's easy to see why more and more aluminum is being designed into every type of modern appliance. And to help manufacturers achieve the highest quality aluminum products, the Reynolds Metals Company maintains a full-time aluminum styling and design section. Aluminum foil, which is merely sheet aluminum rolled extremely thin, is welcomed in the American home in ever-growing quantities as a convenience of a thousand and one practical uses. For even the thinnest aluminum retains all the advantages of this amazing metal. speed up freezing and distributes heat evenly while cooking. And whether in the refrigerator, in the oven, or on the barbecue grill, aluminum foil keeps foods from drying out while sealing in all their natural flavor. Aluminum foil may be produced hard or soft, finished bright or dull, and cut into strips fine enough to make non-tarnishing aluminum yarn, which adds sparkle, luster, the gleam of glamour to milady's gowns, the fabrics in her home, and the upholstery of the latest automobiles. Versatile aluminum foil, when used for packaging or advertising, may be laminated to paper or cardboard and printed on high-speed presses in as many as seven colors, adding great eye appeal to packages and reader interest to national advertising. Customer after customer is drawn by the bright, shiny colors and the reflective beauty of aluminum foil announcing the product. And aside from beauty, Aluminum foil serves the public in many other ways. On the store shelves all over America, Reynolds foil packaging and labels possess unequal selling and protection magic. It keeps things like tobacco or chewing gum moist and dehydrated soups dry. It preserves the crispness of potato chips and the softness of prunes. It seals flavor in and keeps harmful light rays out. It provides extra convenience in the form of one-way containers, which can be used right in the oven, such as delicious ready-mixed cakes, ready-to-serve frozen pies, and complete dinners, which only need heating and are ready to serve. All made possible with lightweight, heat-conducting aluminum containers. Only foil offers so much beauty and merchandising value.
foil offers such perfect product protection. To pass on the extensive knowledge gained through its long experience in working with foil, Reynolds maintains a full-time staff of packaging design experts. In powdered form, aluminum provides the kick for our 4th of July fireworks and also adds extra power to military and commercial explosives. In this form, another unusual property of aluminum appears. Suspended in a paint vehicle, the powdered particles float to the surface and form a continuous layer of aluminum over the area being covered. This aluminum shield provides protection from weather and reflects light and heat almost as effectively as a solid sheet of aluminum. Another wide use of aluminum pigments is in the unusual metallic effects obtained in today's modern polychromatic finishes. Billets and Blooms continues uninterrupted to still another conversion mill. Extrusion is accomplished by slowly squeezing the heated billet under thousands of tons of pressure out through a die opening. designs and patterns which can be extruded are practically unlimited, restricted only by the skill of the designer and the requirements of the end product. Extruded bridge railings and light standards need no painting or costly repairs. And aluminum is light enough to make possible an oil drilling rig which can travel on the highways and set up ready for drilling in a matter of hours. High strength, lightweight aluminum pipe the perfect answer to many irrigation problems. Many of the shapes in the do-it-yourself rack are extruded sections, from which a tremendous variety of useful items can be assembled with ordinary household tools. Aluminum extrusions, because of their versatility and ease of fabrication, have opened countless new possibilities for light metal application. To help manufacturers take full advantage of aluminum's amazing properties, the Reynolds Engineering Service, along with the styling and design section, provides customers with better and newer ways of using aluminum, thus helping to solve many difficult fabrication problems. Aluminum now reaches the processing stage at the rod and bar mill. Aluminum bars are fed through smaller and smaller roller openings until small enough to be used for forging stock and screw machine products. The smaller aluminum rod is again reduced in dimension and then pulled at high speeds through a series of dies to produce aluminum wire of all sizes. Some of the 
this wire is used in the production of screens, nails, rivets, and machine bolts. These intricate machines wind still more of it into heavy-duty transmission cable. Aluminum's high electrical conductivity, combined with its light weight, results in longer spans with lower power loss than any other metal. So convincing are the advantages of aluminum cable that it's used in the majority of modern high voltage systems throughout the world. These same advantages serve to reduce weight and lower costs in thousands of applications for low voltage distributing systems and other electrical uses. In the auto industry, other metals are giving way to aluminum. In mechanical units and parts, as new decorative styling features in gold anodized aluminum. With aluminum's light weight, resistance to corrosion, and many color anodizing possibilities, decorative and functional trim of today's cars is being supplied in ever increasing quantities by bright, colorful aluminum. Aluminum window treatments and color anodized wheel covers and grills, interior and exterior trim, these are only a few of the many automobile parts now being designed in aluminum. And in the production of mechanical parts of all kinds, pistons, torque converters, transmission housings, and other mechanical parts, aluminum has become the standard of the industry. Today, aluminum provides us with better and safer transportation in the air, on the seas, and on the land. In transportation, as in every field of industry, aluminum contributes to our continued progress. In the form of pig and ingot, sheet, rod, and extrusion, foil, building products, industrial shapes, and parts for home appliances, aluminum flows in an uninterrupted stream. Aluminum is transformed into a 100,000 useful things from the most delicate and decorative to the most formidable and functional, like these gleaming highway giants. From convenient kitchen containers to home insulation, refrigerators, and farm buildings, automobile parts, and Reynolds wrap, building materials, and home appliances, outdoor furniture, and magazine advertising, high fashion dresses, and engine components, electrical cable, and packaging material, bridge railings, irrigation pipe, and an endless variety of do-it-yourself material. Only a few of the things in the almost endless procession that makes up aluminum on the march. never-ending march of aluminum continues, an ever-growing parade, supplying the thousands of parts which form the products of today and the better products of tomorrow.